Hey there and welcome back. So in this video, we'll be solving another cross-site scripting lab on Portsuget Academy. So let's get started. So this lab blocks all HTML tags except the custom ones. And to solve this lab, we need to perform a cross-site scripting attack that injects a custom tag and automatically alerts document.cookie. Awesome. So we have two important points here. So one is that we need to use a custom tag and the other one is that we need to, you know, uh, perform this automatically. I mean, we need to, I mean, there should be no manual effort for the victim. Awesome. So let me actually uh, create a new HTML file to explain uh, what is happening in this lab, right? So let me actually open terminal here first so I can create a new file right here on the desktop. So code dot to access my Visual Studio. So here I'll create a new file, a uh, HTML file with name test.html. Uh, and that is created and now i want to tell you something that is very important so whenever you're trying to inject a custom tag right for example something like uh, you know a custom tag something like you know avatar or less than uh, what is that called um uh, pikachu right pikachu right so when you're trying to inject a payload with custom tag always make sure that you use something called as a tab index attribute and i'll explain you what is tab index attribute clearly in this video but just make sure that you use something called as tab index attribute when you're trying to inject a payload with a custom tag right awesome now let me actually create a simple uh, html file so a simple html file and then inside the body let me actually create four custom tags so the first custom tag is code word with the so the custom tag name is code word and with that i'll actually create okay let me not actually use a custom tag here let me use something uh, like you know a header tag so h1 right so h1 and then here let me say heading one heading one for this and then similarly i'll actually create uh, three other headings right so heading two and heading three and heading four so heading three sorry i'm mistyping somewhere so heading three and heading four right so let me actually save this right and let me open this in chrome so let me just go back to desktop and open this file in chrome and there you go so we have four heading tags right now let me just use tab index attribute right so that i can explain you what is tab index attribute so let me just minimize this and open that file again and here i'll use that attribute called as tab index so tab index is equals to one so i'll give value of one for the first one and similarly for the other ones i'll give value of two three four so two three and four okay sorry so i'll copy that okay i have to remove this one here so paste paste and paste here right so tab index of two and tab index of three and tab index of four right so let me just save this and open that in chrome right and now let me just reload this and here what happens is that when i hit tab okay first let me actually hit tab and see what happens right so i'm pressing tab on my keyboard and as you can see the first one i mean the heading one is getting focused and if i press tab again the heading two is getting focused and similarly for three and four so why is that you know when i press the tab first the first heading is getting focused right i mean if you have that question the answer is that you know because we give the tab index of value one for the first one so this is the first one that is getting focused that is the heading one and similarly for the two three and four so if i actually interchange this so if i actually remove this right remove everything and if i give value of one for this two for this three for this and four for this and save it and if i open chrome again reload the file now if i hit tab if i press tab on my keyboard now the focus will be on the fourth one because we gave the tab index of value one i mean we are saying that hey this is the first one that needs to be focused and after that similarly two three and four okay let us test that minimize this press tab and as you can see the fourth one is getting focused right and similarly three two and one so now you understood what is tab index it is just to focus a particular you know tag or element right and now let me actually tell you how to alert a pop-up box when particular you know thing is focused i mean when particular element is focused right so let me just go back to visual studio and now i'll use something called as on focus here so let me use something called as on focus event so on focus event right 
so what i'm basically saying is that when this particular heading that is heading one is on focus i want it to alert a pop-up box so alert one two three so now when i press tab this one will be focused first that is heading four and after that heading three and after that heading two and finally when it comes to heading one as it is focused here we are saying on focus is equal to alert one two three right so that means whenever this is focused it will alert a pop-up box so let us actually test it so control s for saving this and so let me just go back to chrome reload this page and press tab so that you know heading four will be uh, selected first i mean it will be focused first and after that heading three heading two and finally when the heading one will be focused right after pressing tab this on focus gets triggered which will alert a pop-up box so let me just minimize this and press tab and as you can see the alert box is popped up with the text one two three so now you know how to actually alert a pop-up box by using tab index and on focus attributes right but for example user can't actually i mean we cannot expect user to type tab every time right we have to somehow do it automatically correct so let me actually hit ok here and explain you how to actually make this automatic instead of you know pressing tab so let me just reload this and go back to uh, our visual studio file so in order to make this automatic what we can do is we can use something called as an id i mean you must be aware of class and ids right in html so we are using something called as an id so that we can use that id in url and actually focus a particular element and i'll tell you how so let me actually use id for each of this so for this i'll give an id of uh, a and or something like a1 and i'll copy this and for this i'll give a2 a3 and a4 right so a2 for this one and a3 for this one and a4 for this one right and i'll open chrome again now what i can do is in the url whenever i want to select a particular i mean whenever i want to focus a particular element what i can do is i can simply use hash along with the id value of that particular element so for example if i want to select i mean if i want to focus heading three what i can do is instead of hitting tab twice right so if i minimize this and reload this page again right so in order to select i mean in order to focus heading three i have to hit a tab twice right so one two right but how do i focus it directly so i can actually focus that directly with the help of id whose value is a3 right so i'll tell you how to actually focus that directly with the help of id so let me just minimize this visual studio so what i can actually do is okay before that let me just reload this page so what i can do is in the url i can simply put hash along with a3 and a3 is the value of id that is associated with heading 3 now if i hit enter okay why is that selecting heading 2 okay let me just go back to okay so here i gave a3 twice right so this should be a2 so let me just save that minimize and reload the page now if i give a3 and hit enter you can see that the heading 3 is getting focused without actually pressing tab twice so that means by just giving the id value in the url we can directly focus an element now you may think what happens if i give a1 right so if i give a1 the heading 1 will get automatically focused because the id for the heading 1 is nothing but a1 and when this particular one gets focused what happens the on focus get triggered which will alert a pop-up box so let us actually try that so let me just minimize this reload the page again and give a1 instead of a3 right so when i hit a1 again what happens the element associated with id a1 gets focused and that is heading one because the id value is a1 and when this gets focused what happens the on focus gets triggered which will alert a pop-up box right so let me just minimize this and hit enter and as you can see the pop-up box has come up so that means now we don't need to expect the user to actually press tab we can simply send a url right awesome and now what are we going to do is instead of actually using uh you know the h1 tags we are using same tab index on focus and id with a custom tag so let us actually construct a custom tag now so let me just go back to lab and access the lab new tab and we are inside the lab and now what i'll do here is that let me actually create a custom tag so for example something like code word right code word space and here let me actually give a tab index of one because we have only one element right 
and we want that particular element to be focused right so tab index to be one and then i'll create on focus so on focus is equals to alert document.cookie as they told so document.cookie right because they told uh, in, you know we need to alert a pop-up box with document.cookie right so let me just close this and finally we need to use something called as an id with any value that is for example a1 right so a1 and let me just put that in double quotes and here also let me just put this in double quotes i mean all of them so double quotes and double quotes right here right so here instead of using any of the tags html tags i'm using a custom tag because tab index on focus and id it works with any custom tag as well and now let me just close this and hit enter enter and that should be injected in the source code of the page so control u to check the source code of the page and as you can see we have the custom tag and we have tab index with value one that means whenever we hit tab this will be the element that is selected but we don't need to hit tab because we have something called as an id we can simply use the id's value and actually focus this particular element now let us actually try that so let me just close this and reload this page right and in the url at the end i can actually do hash and along with the id's value right so a1 right and if i hit enter this should work and as you can see we got a pop-up box right that means that worked right so this is our exploit url that we need to send it to victim so let me actually copy this and what i'll do is i'll open the exploit server so i just have to send this to victim right so i can actually do it via iframe or i can do it via some simple script tags right but here i'll use something called as an iframe so let me actually get a basic iframe so iframe basic tag so that i can just copy paste that so basic iframe tag uh, try it yourself and i'll actually instead of this i'll use this which is our exploit url right and i'll actually remove the title so we have a basic iframe and i can just use this iframe tag instead of the entire one right so if i just go back so what i'm basically doing here is that okay let me just paste that and tell you so what i'm basically doing is that i'm actually sending this iframe okay so what i'll do is i'll actually open and paste this in this file so that you'll be clear so i'll save this so to understand what is exactly happening here i mean uh, what exactly iframe does you can actually watch my previous video where you know uh, i think the lab was where most of the tags were blocked and we need to somehow solve the lab with uh, you know whatever uh, the tags that were accepted so if you want to learn about iframe please go to that video and watch that okay and now we are going to deliver this particular url in an iframe so that as soon as the victim opens this particular url will be opened in a window and the pop-up box will be executed okay so i'll show a demo for that so let me just save that file and if i open that html file you can see that we have an iframe right with this particular page and there you go we got the pop-up box so i'll tell you what happened here again so let me just reload this file so what is happening here so the exploit url you have right which actually alerts a pop-up box right so that we are actually putting it in an iframe and then sending this iframe to the victim so that as soon as he opens this html file the pop-up box that is inside this page gets executed okay so now we'll actually use that iframe and deliver that to victim right so let me just open um, the firefox and deliver this to victim so deliver exploit to victim and i hope this works and there you go we saw the lab so that is how you saw the lab i hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and if you have any doubts please join the discord server and ask me there and uh, yeah so don't forget to subscribe i'll keep on posting videos like this and uh, yeah that's it thank you bye